Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Mazda CX-30 and its 12-speaker Bose audio system. Also CX-50, not CX-30. <laughs> in today's test, we're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at audio adjustments, controls, inputs, speaker locations, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And we highly recommend using headphones to watch us, as you'll hear the same thing that I hear using my in-ear microphones. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Entirely new model for 2023 is the model year, 2022 here is the year. But I think it's smart for Mazda to shove another model into the midsize, or rather compact crossover market. They're selling really well, the CX-5 does really well, so Mazda's like, hey, let's make the CX-50 pretty similar, just a little lower wider and a little bit different looking. If you do want to see more on the CX-50, check the links in the description. We've got highway fuel economy test and DM test drive. Now we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed WAV files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Overall, Mazda's infotainment system is not my favorite something to do with the the way it looks and the way it's entirely controlled by the rotary knob now in general i like rotary knob controls but i like to have a touchscreen redundancy such as in the bmw systems this one's not too bad though so let's go down to entertainment and we've got our usb drive screen there let's go to audio settings let's start with the bass and treble adjustment let's go through those now Then you've got listening position. You can do all seats or just the driver's seat. You have front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. And then a Bose stereo mode. You got standard and linear. Linear is going to kind of just move this music a little bit more in front of us. Overall, I prefer standard. Then you've got Bose Center Point. It's currently off. When you turn it on, it creates a virtual surround sound listening experience. So let's do that now. And then you can choose different intensities, one, two, and three. I actually quite like Center Point being on in most easy listening. If I'm really going to turn up a, a, a super high quality recording and I want it to sound exactly true to recording, I'll turn center point off, but we're going to test with it on one for a little while and then maybe we'll turn it off later on in the test. Then you've got Bose Audio Pilot that'll adjust the music to compensate for road and wind noise as you pick up speed. For audio controls in the new CX-50, you've got this nice volume knob here that clicks nicely and you can actually rotate it back and forth for track selection. You've also got volume on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, like I said, you rotate the volume knob for that, or you can use left side of the wheel, or if you're in the proper screen, you can click down and get some uh, playback control from right there. Audio inputs in the new CX-50 of your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, two USB-A ports, and Pandora streaming, and wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no USB Type-C, which is a little bit surprising for a car that debuted in 2022. And there's also no 3.5mm auxiliary input jack. Also, Pandora being the only streaming option seems a little bit strange to me. I bet a lot of people would prefer Spotify or Amazon, but you get Pandora. Speaker locations. Now, as I said, this is a 12-speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got one woofer way up there in the firewall, two mid-range here in the door, three tweeter, four center, five, six, seven on the right side, and then eight mid-range, nine, Coming into the back, we have 10 and 11 wind ranges in the D-pillar, and then 12 subwoofer there in the spare tire. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demos. We're going to start off with Android Auto because that's already what's connected. Home and over. Now you've got the Android Auto screen coming up. 
got Google Maps right there initially, and it's the widescreen Android Auto. So on the right side, you have your clock, and then if you had some navigation going while you're in YouTube Music like this, it flip-flops. You got your nav on the side that would give you your directions, and then you can pick out your songs. If we go home, then it's going to leave up the maps and go through your apps and down to settings. All right, how about Apple CarPlay? There we go, CarPlay coming right up. Here's your settings screen, start off in. And then you can still use the back button, which is nice. Go back, to the main area there, there's your home screen. Bring up Google Maps. There you go. And there's YouTube Music. All right, let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
system is it's it's strong and it's competent, really lacking a wow factor. And it's it's bright. It's it's almost what I would say sharp. It's kind of coming from those mid ranges. I would like these mid speakers right here to calm down and maybe let the uh, the woofer and the the, the the tweeters do a little bit more. But then again, I'm uh, that's a little bit of my preference. I recognize that I kind of prefer music to be a little bit more dominated by the the highs and the lows, a little bit less in the middle. But yeah, I I, I, I wish I had a Mazda three right next to this to compare because I feel like the Mazda 3 is a little bit better balanced but either way let's switch on to the next track and turn the bass all the way up and see how this subwoofer does. speaker bow system here in the Mazda CX-50. It's it's pretty darn good. I think a lot of people are going to be happy with it. It doesn't quite get to audiophile levels of, ooh, like this is really an impressive type system, that sort of deal. It's, it's just solid. And for that, it's getting a B plus. It's just below A. Certain songs are going to sound really good, but I'm not a big fan of the mixing. And I don't know if it's just because I was so impressed by how good the Mazda 3 sounded uh, just because of its price point but I know I gave that one an A I gave this a B plus I'd re I really wish I had the opportunity to test it back to back but I really do think the 3 was a little tighter a little better balanced and this car is a little bit more hollow and bright and that's not what I'm going for but still it's still very good I just have to give it enough space from the true A tier system that sound really impressive but thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the new CX-50, check the links in the description. 
and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie with Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. What? Ah, that's the second time I've changed the track accidentally. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fast forward all the way up here to the end to get the drop. It's the volume knob is nice how you can change tracks with it, but it also happens on accident. All right, bye.